you're definitely uh, heading up a company that's gone a long ways in just a few short years. You guys, uh, mentioned in the article, you do more traffic than the digital properties of ESPN, uh, Time Inc., for sure, and Disney. Um, so you're doing a lot of traffic. You're in the Comscore top 10, is it now? 17, yeah, top 17, 20. Top 20. Um, so I want to talk about how you managed to create this platform in such a short time and uh, sort of the controversy surrounding this. So as I mentioned, demand media was called demonic on Twitter. Right. Uh, Jeff Jarvis, I think, famously said at this point that you, uh, you've created crap ju good enough just to fool the algorithms. Um, so I guess, you know, start by responding to this and talk sure. about, you know, why this perception exists. You know, I'm not sure why the perception exists, but every company that I've seen or been involved in that is disruptive, that is replacing a different business model, always gets picked on, right? If you think of Amazon, everybody said, oh, it's going to kill retailing, it's not good for retailing, it won't work. Google, I remember everyone saying three little ads will never replace the martini lunches that big advertising companies have. Netflix is going to destroy Hollywood. I actually think it's a compliment that people are getting this excited and this fired up about our model. So that's part one. I mean, we are disrupting media. We create 5,000 pieces of content today, uh, a day. We employ more copy editors than the top five newspapers combined. And we've been able to build all that, we think, quietly and with not only the consumer in mind and the advertiser in mind, but again, really with the consumer experience in mind. So um, I think it's just something that they're not used to yet. It's an entirely new business model that people have to, to understand. What is the problem with media models on the web right now, and why is what you're doing disruptive? Well, I think the problem with media models today is if you think about how most media on the web works, is you create a piece of content, you then try and sell an advertiser, and you hope that one, the consumer likes it, and two, that the branded advertiser wants it. And what happens with most portals is they take their home page, right, what they call their fire hose, and they just push it at that piece of content. And you never really know in advance. What our model does is we use technology to predict what consumers want, whether they're looking for a piece of content in search, Facebook, Twitter, social media, different social media applications, or direct. We then take that information, push it to our studio, which Dan will talk about. Dan went on and tried. He wrote 37 articles. Um, that content is then indexed either in Google, Facebook, Twitter, throughout the web, and shows up on our properties, to which we drive social media and applications around it. Doing all that, we can actually predict the ROI or return on investment on each of these pieces of content, and that's completely different. Now, if you can do that 5,000 times a day and know exactly how much money you can make from advertising, it's an entirely new model where you can just produce more content, and that's, it's very different than what is currently being done today, and I think that concerns people. And then the other question we have coming from Twitter is, doesn't 5,000 new pieces of content create, that you create daily clog the pipes of SEO? Isn't it just stuff for you to sell ads around? I think we've hit on pieces of this. Yep. But what's interesting to me is, you know, do you see, if you're really going after the, yong ta uh, the long tail and you're showing up in more and more search results, do you think users are going to get eHow fatigue or answer bag fatigue? They're going to get tired of seeing you guys at the top of every single search result. Well, I'd say there's two ways to turn around. We actually think it may be a branding event. If they see eHow over and over and over again, they may stop going through Google and go directly to eHow, which is why we focus so high on quality. Uh, the second part is, you know, 5,000 sounds like a lot because no one's done that before, but I've heard there's a trillion web pages on the web, and it's growing at billions a month. We're not even making a dent. So, I mean, if, if we are not clogging anything, because again, most of our content there's no good answer for. So um, I think it's a fair criticism if you don't understand the level of what it takes in order to get listed in the search engines and the quality it needs to be and the amount of competition. Uh, and and you know, look, Google's a multi-hundred billion dollar company. Their whole business is based on them giving you the right results. If we could so easily figure out how to put worse content in front of it, they wouldn't be Google. So I mean, we're just making the best content we can. If they decide to list it, they do. Okay.